What if I told you one of the biggest male celebrities is getting through his breakup by launching a makeup line? The entire country music industry is about to be exposed. Morgan Wallen is given the NAACP the silent treatment and an accused pedophile is about to star in a movie about a, you guessed it, accused pedophile. Hollywood is so fun, am I right? And yep, that's all in today's show. I'm Alex Clark and this is Poplitics. A-Rod launched a makeup line for men, and the promo pics are something else. There you go. Fresh as a daisy. You look terrific. Alex Rodriguez teamed up with Hims and Hers, which is a beauty and wellness company, and says he wanted to collab with them on a makeup line for men. He noticed as he was jumping from meeting to meeting in his daily life that he needed some kind of concealer to help cover his blemishes. The product is called the Blur Stick, and it's running for $17. It's all an illusion. I'm wearing makeup. I'm wearing makeup, makeup, makeup. I guess now we know why Jennifer Lopez dumped him. What are the odds he also sits to pee? I sit down when I pee. There's nothing that crazy about me. I'm just taking a whiz. Mind your own biz. Why is everybody always staring at me? I mean, jokes aside, makeup is makeup. It doesn't have a gender. Guys who work in TV and film definitely don't use makeup for men. They just use MAC or Makeup Forever like everyone else. I mean, if your man doesn't have a job on camera, though, and he just wants to use a little concealer here or there to touch up, how would you feel about it? I am not a sister! A-Rod isn't the only man with a beauty line out right now either. Lil Yachty has a new nail polish line. Lil Yachty said, if you find painting your nails is a way to show your creative side or it's an aesthetic that fits you, you shouldn't be judged for it. Outside opinion shouldn't have an effect on your aesthetic and whatever you decide to do, and this line is a reflection of that. Uh, uh. I shouldn't be shocked if I go on a date and a guy has better contour and acrylics than me. When I was in high school, guys used to take turns trying to see who could take a bigger crap in the bathroom. Wow, have times changed. Even your farts, they're not manly. You're being ridiculous. They sound like a baby blowing out the candles on a birthday cake. What? Like a little... <laughs> Country cute conservatives are definitely gonna wanna hear this. A music insider is about to expose country music hypocrites in a new book. Country boy, I love you. Dorothy Carvello is a former exec for Atlantic Records, and she already published one explosive memoir about being the first female A&R exec at the company. It came out in 2018, and it was called Anything for a Hit, an A&R woman's story of surviving the music industry. She dished on abusive execs and told stories about Michael Jackson, Madonna, Steven Tyler, Bon Jovi, In Excess, and more. Look, I just flipped the switch. <laughs> So now she says she's got tea on country music and says Nashville is a hot market, but it's a good old boys network. They don't wanna let anyone else in, but they have to because the business is getting bigger. She said, there is such hypocrisy. They all belong to a church and meanwhile, they're breaking every commandment. Alexa, play something slow on the country music station. Okay, here's what I have for extreme constipation. To help relieve con Dorothy said award shows are also totally rigged and that there are secret committees and backroom deals and it's very tough to break in. They can't sit with us! Apparently in Dorothy's book, everyone is gonna know who she's talking about as she describes the famous people. So when she talks about a young star who loves supermarkets. Speaking of country stars, did you hear about the latest stink surrounding Morgan Wallen now? Uh -oh, stinky, uh -oh, stinky. The NAACP is salty because after Morgan's apology, they reached out and said that they'd like to meet with him and he hasn't scheduled a meeting. In fact, their attempts to get a hold of him or his team have gone unanswered. Good. Bye bye. See you later. The NAACP is just like BLM Inc. They're a woke organization that pretends to want to solve racial injustice while sowing division and hate towards white people and worse. The NAACP isn't interested in truly forgiving Morgan. Do not get it twisted. They wanna try to indoctrinate him with critical race theory stuff, and then when that doesn't work, or later in life when he does or says something they don't like, they'll turn on him again. I'm sure Morgan and his team are completely aware of what fake and fickle friends the NAACP would be. <laughs> I'm out of here. 
And if you don't believe me that the NAACP is a total joke, let me remind you of last month when their president and CEO, Derek Johnson, said a taser should have been used instead of a gun in the shooting of Micaiah Bryant in Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, remember that insane case? Boy, that fell out of the news real quick, didn't it? And it's gone. Hopefully Morgan continues to blow them off. Contrary to SJW belief, it is possible to make a mistake and admit to it and not repeat that behavior without selling your soul to the woke mob, which is exactly what they want. The race hustlers on the left remind me of that voodoo king from The Princess and the Frog Taken Souls. I can read your future. I can change it around some too. I look deep into your heart and soul. You do have a soul, don't you, Lawrence? Make your wildest dreams come true. I got voodoo, I got hoodoo, I got things I ain't even tried. And I got friends on the other side. He's got friends on the other side. Kevin Spacey hasn't starred in anything since it came out that he was not only close friends with Jeffrey Epstein, but that he had been accused of sexual misconduct from several teenage boys. I don't care. I don't care. Well, guess what? He's back, and this time, rumor is, he's going to star in a movie about, drum roll please, an accused pedophile. The movie is about a blind artist who's been accused of pedophilia, and Kevin Spacey is the detective who investigates it all. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. Keep your eyes peeled for your friends who are outraged about this development, but voted for Biden. Does the complete lack of self-awareness give you a splitting headache, or is that just me? Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Support politics by liking this episode, comment your thoughts on A-Rod's makeup for men, and Kevin Spacey's uh, ironic movie role, to say the least. Make sure you share this episode to your Instagram stories and tell us which story today was your fave. Make sure you hit that save button too. We're back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. It's pop culture without the propaganda every single day. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Politics. Click below to watch yesterday's episode. Please subscribe, thumbs up, share this video, and ring the bell for notifications so you never miss the conservatee. And make sure you're following this show at Politics on Instagram for even more conservative content.